In Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood, Trevor Noah weaves a tapestry of humor, resilience, and introspection as he navigates the complex socio-political landscape of apartheid-era South Africa. Through a series of anecdotes, Noah offers readers a glimpse into his formative years, marked by the absurdities of racial segregation and the indomitable spirit of a mother determined to defy the odds. As the title suggests, Noah's mere existence, as a mixed-race child during apartheid, is a transgressive act, emblematic of his life's struggle against societal norms. The narrative begins with Noah's birth, which itself is a crime due to the laws prohibiting interracial relationships and procreation. This sets the tone for the entire memoir, as Noah employs humor to underscore the absurdity of apartheid's racial classifications. His very existence challenges the rigid boundaries apartheid sought to enforce, making him both an outsider and an insider in different racial communities. Noah's mother, Patricia, is a central figure in the book. Her indomitable spirit, wit, and unshakable love for her son provide a counterpoint to the oppressive backdrop of apartheid. Patricia's defiance of social norms, her determination to provide for her family, and her resilience in the face of adversity are nothing short of inspirational. Her insistence on speaking multiple languages, particularly English, further sets Noah on a path towards a career in comedy and broadcasting, despite the challenges posed by his limited formal education. Through a series of anecdotes, Noah paints a vivid picture of his upbringing in Soweto. His storytelling prowess shines as he recounts humorous and heartwarming tales of childhood mischief and youthful rebellion. These anecdotes are not merely anecdotes, they serve as vehicles for exploring deeper themes such as identity, race, and the human capacity for resilience. Noah's exploration of race is particularly poignant. He recounts experiences of being neither fully white nor fully black in the eyes of apartheid society, often occupying a liminal space that both confuses and enlightens him. This unique perspective allows him to critique the absurdity of racial classifications and the arbitrary nature of privilege. His interactions with various racial groups expose the fault lines and contradictions in apartheid ideology, making it clear that race is a socially constructed concept rather than an inherent reality. As Noah matures, he grapples with the complexities of identity. His comedic talents become a means of negotiating these complexities, allowing him to connect with diverse audiences and challenge racial stereotypes. The book highlights the power of humor as a tool for social commentary and a means of bridging divides. Noah's ability to navigate different linguistic and cultural contexts further underscores his adaptability and his capacity to transcend the limitations of his upbringing. Despite the heavy subject matter, Born a Crime is infused with humor throughout. Noah's wit and storytelling acumen ensure that even the darkest moments are not devoid of levity. This humor is not merely a narrative device but a coping mechanism for both the author and his readers. It serves as a reminder that resilience and laughter can coexist even in the bleakest of circumstances. The memoir also delves into Noah's relationship with his mother, a complex and central element of his life. Patricia's fierce love and high expectations for her son drive him to excel academically and morally. Her influence is both a source of strength and a burden, as Noah grapples with the weight of her aspirations for him. Their bond, tested by poverty, domestic violence, and societal prejudice, serves as a testament to the enduring power of maternal love. In the final chapters, as Noah comes of age, the narrative takes on a more introspective tone. He reflects on the challenges and choices that have shaped him into the man he has become. He acknowledges the role of luck and serendipity in his journey, 
emphasizing that his success is not solely a product of his individual efforts but also a result of circumstances and opportunities. In conclusion, Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood, is a masterful memoir that combines humor, insight, and social commentary. Trevor Noah's personal journey serves as a microcosm of South Africa's tumultuous history during the apartheid era. Through his storytelling, he invites readers to confront the absurdities of racism and the enduring power of love and laughter in the face of adversity. The book is a testament to the human capacity for resilience and the ability to find light in the darkest of times.